his mouth moves and opens. I love that. Guys, these Imagine X things are fantastic. Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin was 93, Drew Ranger 92. I don't know why it took until 2015 to get such an awesome T-Rex. Look at the arms, but here it is. Isn't that fantastic? Look at it. Look at the size of this. I'll compare it to Dragon Zord when I get home, of course. We're still in Oregon. That is fantastic. So very special thanks to Saban slash Power Force for T-Rex, Goldar, Mastodon. And then here in Oregon, we found Sabertooth Tiger and Eugene. And we got Triceratops in Jansen Beach, was it, Mia? Jansen Beach? Yeah. Portland, Oregon. Found all the figures in Eugene. These should be at Toys R Us's everywhere now. They're fantastic. I love them. Oh, that's awesome. His legs can move a little bit. His arms are poseable. And his mouth moves. Love, 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 love. Love, love. They even modeled this area after the cockpit from the T-Rex. I mean, they really did a great job with these. Comes with the figure. This is more show accurate, so I don't care as much, but it does have these. T-Rex comes with missiles and these, you guys probably recognize these things as the blade blasters that will go in here. So you can fire, I don't want to lose this, but fire the missiles. And then these will just plug in like that. I really like that this is optional because like I said, it makes it less show accurate, but it's also fun, so. I think you need that. That's what a dinosaur would sound like if it talked, I'm sure. Goldar comes with his sword and a Rita figure with her little Rita hat and Rita's wand even. She can make Goldar grow. I really dig the back of the box art. Back of the box art art, yeah. I don't think the big Megazord is out yet. Here's Goldar. Goldar has, well his arm can move, and then if you twist this the other way, his arms flip out. Arms, wings flip out. Yay. His tail rotates. It can even come out of the thing for whatever reason. And I think they're coming out with more of these. I've seen a white tiger zord, I think a Lord Zed, a smaller Goldar. Hopefully they'll keep going. There's a peg for her to stand on. So now Rita becomes a control for Goldar. Look at that. And T-Rex can bite Goldar. Yes. If nothing else, you definitely need T-Rex. T-Rex is really, really great. Really love this. He does have the molding for the mouth lasers, but unfortunately they're not colored. Other than that, I have no complaints. It's fantastic. Mastodon, his head can go up like that, just like you saw on the show. And then same deal, his laser, actually, are these compatible? Yes. So. I know some people are gonna complain that I don't have the missiles in here, but I'd rather they not pop out and go down here. And it comes with a Black Ranger. Does it come with his ax though? Mastodon actually has some stickers. I think T-Rex is entirely paint. I want to say everything on here is painted on. These are stickers and the ears. The eyes and this are painted. If you buy the black and blue ranger pack, you get the weapons. It looks like he does not come with the power axe, but it does come with the figure either way. Triceratops has wheels. He can roll. This is actually a bit more show accurate as well. And then if you push down on Billy, he can headbutt or dance, I'm going to call that. The tail can come down and then it can fold up and shoot missiles. This is a really great Triceratops. I very much recommend this one. Again, same deal. They all have the cockpit looking thing right here. Sabertooth Tiger has moving legs. Tail can move, fires the missile, and then the mouth opens. I love when the mouths open. Unfortunately, it looks like no pterodactyl. I want to say the figure packs were $7.99. It comes with two rangers and their weapons. These are actually pretty poseable, and their suits actually resemble the movie figures a little bit. Trini comes with some enormous power daggers. Kind of like that they put Tommy and Kimberly together. Yeah, they kind of gave her a skirt, didn't they? Yeah, look at that. I like the way they did the power bow. Tommy comes with an enormous dragon dagger. You could probably give that to a larger five-inch figure or something. Uh-oh, they did the silver streaks. Duck and cover. Billy comes with his power lance. It doesn't connect. And then Zack has his power axe. I really love these figures. I really do. You get three putties in a pack. That's the way they should do henchmen. And we get a Rita figure. Awesome, right? These all just snap into the power bow, as you'd expect. Power axe has a little thingy here, and it just slides like that. And then there's a thingy right here that the power sword snaps into. Green Ranger does not come with his shield. You can buy a couple of putty packs and then have a whole bunch of putties. And no, these do not combine to form the Megazord. You'll be seeing these again in future videos because of course I want him to be with the other T-Rexes and see how those look. They got the paint on the tail, on the feet, chest. He really looks, really looks great. I love this neck. These are on the Toys R Us website and they're at Toys R Us. So 
I'll put links in the description. They might be on Amazon. I'll have to look when we get home. These should not be hard to find. I really think these are fantastic. Here, eat a putty. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't like clay. For those of you wondering how we got these from California to Oregon while we were here, stay tuned. I'm going to put that at the end of the video. It's kind of a funny story. And otherwise, I think that's it. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. We'll be back soon with more good videos. And good night. Jerry. Yes. Hey. Hi. So, Power Four stuff came. Yes. How many boxes? Just one, one big box. And it has my Imaginex stuff in it. Do you want to do a review? Me? Or is there any way you can send it to us in Oregon? Because I kind of need that sooner than later. You do? I do. I'd really appreciate it. We're actually going to be in Portland. We're leaving for Portland tomorrow, so we're going to be there for about a week. But I can find out the hotel address, and maybe you can okay. get it to us at the hotel. Okay, you can send that to me. Okay, I'll help Mia do that, because she knows where we're staying. Overnight shipping. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. Whatever it costs. Okay. All right, thank you, Jerry. You're welcome. All right, bye. Time to call Jerry to find out where the Imagine Next things are. Because I just checked the front desk and there's nothing there. And I'm pretty sure the mail already came today. So, ba -ba 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 -ba. I know I told him I needed these right away. I know I told him. Hello? Hey. Hi. Are you sleeping? No. Uh, did you send those things? On the way. What? They're on the way. They're on the way? Because I checked the front desk and they're not there. Any moment. Okay. Any moment, he says. Okay. <laughs> well, hopefully... Did somebody just knock? Maybe they brought them up for me. Perfect! Here are the toys. Alright. Thank you, Jerry. All right, we can do this video. Huh? Jerry? Jerry. Jerry? What? Jerry? <laughs> you need those toys right away, right? Jerry, what are you doing in Oregon? I'm bringing you your toys that you needed right away. <laughs> Jerry. You know, you could have just put those in the mail. I, I didn't need you to come to Oregon to bring me my toys. No, this was the only way. <laughs> okay. Here's Jerry. You're welcome. Thank you, Jerry. Oh, I love it. Look at that. That's fantastic. All right, we're bringing you to the airport tomorrow morning. <laughs> Back you go. All right, Jerry. Thanks for bringing the toys. You're welcome. We'll see you when we get back to California. Okay. Bye-bye, Jerry. Bye. I did say mail the stuff. I know I didn't tell me it. Whatever. Got the toys.